Mashiri reveals General Josiah Tongagara's death details, I was in the same vehicle with him when he died. Minister of Defense and War Veterans Abu Mashiri Kashiri has dismissed rumors that she was involved in the death of late Zimbabwe National Liberation Army, ZANA, Commander General Josiah Magama Tongagara or that there was a hidden hand in the road traffic accident that claimed his life on December 26, 1979 in Mozambique. Minister Mushingari Kashiri was in the same vehicle with Jentong Gagara when he died in the accident, which occurred in Masinga district, in Hambane province in Mozambique. The claim that Jentong Gagara was killed by fellow party members was escalated by the CIA through a briefing on December 28, 1979 and Rhodesian Prime Minister Ian Smith who wrote in his memoirs that Tongagara's own people killed him. Social media platforms have lately also been awash with the claims against Minister Mushingari Kashiri. Speaking at the 2018 annual commemoration of Tongagara's death at the National Heroes Acre yesterday, Minister Mushingari Kashiri broke down as she narrated how the accident occurred. I happened to be in the same car with him when the accident happened. There was a truck which was towing a trailer that was in front of our vehicle. The truck was in the middle of the road and heading in the same direction, said the defense minister. As our driver was about to overtake, our vehicle was blocked by the trailer resulting with the accident that killed John Gagara. I didn't kill Tom Gagara, she said. She said history has been distorted for a long and hence the need to set the record straight on the circumstances. General Tom Gagara hated, without mercy, all those who he regarded as standing in the way of the liberation of the millions downtrodden Zimbabweans. However, the question that will remain in the minds of many Zimbabwean present and future generations is who is this dreaded, fearless, great Commander General Josiah Magama Tongagaro? She said. General Josiah Magama Tongagaro, affectionately known as General Tongo during the Second Chimarenga, commanded Zanla the military wing of the nationalist-oriented Zimbabwe African National Union ZANU, party. He was also part of the Dari Chimarenga in the high command which directed the liberation struggle against the brutal and callous Ian Smith colonial regime, she said. As I alluded earlier on, the general was involved in a fatal car accident which claimed his life on the 26th of December 1979 soon after the Lancaster House Agreement which gave birth to independent Zimbabwe, she said. Kutong Gagara was born in Shirogwe on February 4, 1938. The minister said Kutong Gagara stood solidly by what he believed was right and never deviated from principle, in support of the leadership. She said he was one of the ZANU cadres who strongly pushed for unity of the two liberation forces of Zypra and Zanla. Acting Commander of Zimbabwe Defense Forces, Lt. Gen. Edzei Tamnio also poured his heart out on the great loss Zimbabwe suffered as a result of the death of Gen. Tongo. He said he was the first person to open the door of the vehicle the general was traveling in. Gen. Tongagara was a fearless courageous, tough and firm but humane commander. His passing on at the dawn of Zimbabwe's independence was a great loss to Zimbabwe. As we gather here at this annual commemoration, we should take inspiration from his selfless sacrifice for the independence of this great country," said Lt. Gentamnio. General Josiah Magamatongagari will forever be remembered in the annals of our history as a great commander unifier and strategist par excellence. We will always remember his great works and use lessons of the past in respect of his immense contribution to the struggle for our independence to shape the future," Lt. Genchimnio said. Tongagara's widow, Angeline, her children and grandchildren, relatives and friends laid wreaths at the tomb of the national hero who has major roads in Harare and Bulawayo named after him. The former KGVI barracks were also recently renamed in his honor.